the charter was doing, charter communications was doing in and around uh, the district. In particular, they're conducting trials in the 3.5 band, uh, which is showing promise for better and faster rural coverage. At the same time, the 3.5 band is utilized by federal radar systems, which is used by the Navy and Coast Guard on the Gulf Coast of Florida, as well as other areas. The Environmental Sensing Capability, ESC, has been created to ensure these federal uses are not interfered with, while also allowing shared spectrum with industry in preparing the 5G-enabled uh, technology. This band provides a great opportunity opportunity for industry and competition as long as we ensure federal systems remain secure. What is the status of ESC uh, implementation and interference sensitivity standards, please? Uh, thank you for the question, Congressman. And first and foremost, though, thank you for the hospitality you showed me both in Tampa and in Oldsmar. It was a terrific visit to the district. Um, I'm very excited about the possibilities of 3.5 gigahertz spectrum in part because of that trial you showed. I mean, to be able to see how Charter is using and how others potentially could use the spectrum to provide a seamless high definition video experience as you're driving down the road. I mean, very simple application, but very powerful one nonetheless for consumers. Uh, the ESC is a critical part of that, and so I'm happy to report that we are actively working with both NTIA and the Department of Defense on the, the testing. The testing is very complex, and so I can't give you a definitive time frame on when it is going to be completed or what the results might show, but do know that we are working as quickly as possible to wrap that testing up to enable uh, ESC to allow shared use of this uh, valuable resource. Very good. Uh, Commissioner O'Reilly, I know you're reading, leading the charge on the 3.5. Uh, do you have anything to add to that? So I would agree with, my, agree with the chairman on this, but I would say there's two parts. There's the SAS, which deals with the commercial users, and the ESC, which deals with the federal users and how we make sure we don't cause interference. Those things, a couple months ago, we thought might separate in time-wise. I was briefed yesterday that it looks like things are lining up nicely, and, and I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I think Q1 of next year is not irrational, uh, for if not earlier. We're hopefully to do some things uh, that I can't speak of, but hopefully be able to announce some things uh, regarding the SAS later this year, and then be able to ESCs and, and really soon after. So I think things are lining up pretty nicely along those decisions. But can I go back to your to earlier, and I want to use your time, but Please. You, you mentioned the point regarding charter, and I get back to, to, to Congressman Doyle's point regarding census tracts. Charter has advocated a different position uh, in terms of census. They, don't, they haven't favored census tracts, they've favored counties. And so there are different positions in just census tracts, and I'm trying to work out and try and find a commonality of the different, uh, different entities that are seeking this. I will tell you, those that have favored census tracts have not moved or advocated one inch from where they have been for the last number of years. They will not yield anything to where they've been. So it's been hard to try and find commonality amongst all these different positions, and you mentioned Charter, so I thought I'd bring that up. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks for the update. Uh, back in March, after a very long uh, wait, the D.C. Circuit Court issued its opinion on the Telephone Cons Consumer Protection Act. Uh, in particular, this ruling invalidated the definition of an auto dialer uh, and also did away with the Commission's reassigned number and safe harbor rules. In light of this opinion, what action is the FCC taking to establish valid TCPA definitions and rules that target bad actors but do not put everyday Americans at risk to lawsuits? Uh, Commissioner, maybe, Mr. Chairman, can you address that? I'd be happy to, Congressman. Uh, we are still actively studying the results of the uh, opinion in, DC, in ACA International, and we were working with our staff on the way forward on some of the key issues they identified, the definition of auto dialer, uh, you know, the reassigned number database, revocation of consent, and the like. And so, uh, again, I can't give you a specific time frame, but we are actively looking at a variety of TCPA issues uh, as a result of the DC Circuit's opinion. Well, uh, Madam Chair, I, I've got one more question, but I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and yield back my time, and, uh, and I'll submit it for the record. I appreciate it, thank you. Thank the gentleman. The gentleman yells 